Hello there, Aries friends, and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden. Thank you so much for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. And please don't forget to find us at Immaterial Garden on Tumblr. You can also just type in immaterialgarden.info into your browser bar, and it'll take you to the same place. This, of course, is your June 2022 flavor reading for the month. This is the last Zodiac-focused reading. Next week, we're going to take about four days off to give you some time to catch up with the readings, especially the main focus reading for the month. So if you haven't watched yet, please check it out. And on Friday of next week, we'll be doing the astrological weather report for July. This Friday, my friends, if you are, if you have any Cancerian placements or if you are involved with a Cancerian, we are doing uh, the live Cancer birthday reading around 2 p.m. Pacific. I hope some of you can join us. Let's go ahead and get into it. Three lines of main messages and away we go. Okay, what's at the center of the first line of main messages for our Aries friends? We do have Grand Constellation. So I'm going to be real, Aries. Something did not work out the way you anticipated, the way that you hoped, or the way that you expected. That being said, something good or something positive, something that actually serves you, comes out of it, okay? So uh, this is not necessarily a plan being executed to perfection, but it is showing that no matter what has happened in this situation, you are getting some sort of something good is coming of it, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this message for our Aries friends. We do have the young young woman, which is your card in the Sibylla deck, Aries with a minor in Pisces. So you could be Pisces, Aries, Cuspers, but you don't have to be. All right, we also have service. So you might be dealing with a Sagittarius, possibly a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusper. It looks like there's something that you wanted in a situation or maybe something that you, you were going for. Maybe you don't get the ambition you don't get the prize, but you get the person, okay? You, you, you find new love or you, you get the person that you have your eye on. Also could be maybe you expected this person to behave or to act in a certain way. They did not respond the way that you thought they would, okay? That being said, maybe, maybe it still works in your favor. What's going on here? We have love. We also have constancy. So it kind of looks like maybe you thought that this person wasn't very serious. You thought that they were just having a good time, having a, you know, it was having a laugh, having a fling. No, I think this person actually has feelings for you, to be real, okay? I feel like they have, they have sincere feelings for you, and they actually show you this. Maybe they have an opportunity, they have an opportunity maybe to go off with someone else or to, to do something else and they they choose you they choose they choose the spending the time with you of course of course they're going to choose you <laughs> All right, Aries friends. But then again, I feel like this person is a lot more loyal than you expected. Maybe a situation, maybe there was something that was dramatic or traumatic or, you know, whatever it was, maybe something blew up in your face. But at the very least, you know that this Sagittarius is for you. They were on your side. Past possibly, they, they have love for you, but they possibly could be in love with you. And they're a lot more loyal than you anticipated. Okay, pretty, that's some good surprises. I think that's some pretty good surprise. Oh my gosh. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and see here. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's a pleasant surprise. I feel like whatever it is, it's not what you expected. It's better. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty good for a flavor reading. All right, Aries. Um, oh, why? That being said, we do have foe that showed up. Maybe, maybe despite someone's best plans or someone's best, uh, someone's best attempts to keep the two of you separated or to keep you apart. I feel like also there could have been someone who was interested in either you or interested in your person. They might have been trying to spoil something for you, might maybe trying to spoil this union or spoil a date, an engagement, spoil a, a wedding or whatever it is. It looks like this person, they're kicked out or they're thrown on their ass. I feel like also maybe this person even tried to approach your person and they tried to talk shit about you, but I feel like your person shut that down so fast. I feel like this person is is they were offended by how how quickly this person took your side and shut them down, okay? All right, what, what direction is this going? You don't have anything to fear. That's what I'm saying here. Anything, any nonsense or anything else that's negative, it looks like it's coming from the ex external, from the outside. But as far as I'm concerned, you and this Sagittarius, you're coming out right next to each other in love. You're thick as thieves, okay? Here with constancy or perseverance, it doesn't matter 
what, what the world throws at you, no matter what happens or if things don't always go as planned, as long as you and this person have each other's back, you're happy, you're satisfied, and nothing's gonna stop, stop the two of you from living a good life and from doing what you're meant to do in this lifetime, okay? Together. Let's go ahead and see where's, what direction is this going? What's the takeaway? We have the home energy. So looks like possibly the person that was against this relationship though could have either been someone that you live with, someone that is from your, or someone that you grew up with, possibly a sibling, possibly a family member or their family member or sibling, or it was either someone that you previously lived with, a live-in SO, a, a, an ex that you lived with, or it could have been your person's ex. One way or another, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it, your, your love story did not develop the way you thought it would, but it's even better, okay? All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and move forward. I'm loving this energy though, Aries. I'm feeling like maybe, at least for some of you, the end of this month is gonna be it's gonna be beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and see. Tell me what's at the center of the second line of main messages for our Aries friends. We have the letter energy. So you're getting some sort of communication or some sort of word, okay? What's going on here? We do have friend energy. So one of your good friends, one of your besties might be contacting you, might be keep like either they're they're keeping up with you, keeping up the Kardashians, they're keeping up with you. Uh, maybe the two of you are kind of exchanging some uh, stories and you're kind of telling each other what's been going on or what's going on with the friend group. This this could be actually another Aries. It doesn't have to be, but this person could have really strong Aries placements as well. It's like the two of you, that's one thing. The two of you are, uh, you live larger than life or the two of you, I feel like you bring a lot of life to wherever you are or whatever you do, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. We also have uh, waiting and we have prison energy, okay? So maybe your person or your your friend here, I feel like they're telling you something. They're, they're telling you something about someone, uh, someone, they might be watching over someone or looking out, looking, looking out for someone. Not, not necessarily looking out for their best interest, but trying, maybe they're giving you some sort of warning or they're telling you something about this person that they've been keeping an eye on, all right? I feel like this person is almost like tracking, oh, okay, uh, this got a little weird. Someone is basically like tracking someone or watching someone. You may have a common enemy between you and your friend, okay? If, if this is an enemy, it's not some petty ass shit, okay? This could be someone who truly did something wrong to the two of you, all right? Someone who truly might have messed with you when you were younger in terms of, you know, in inappropriate ways. This could have been someone who uh, might have subjected both of you to some sort of sexual harassment or something like that, okay? Or some sort of abuse. The two of you went through a pretty difficult, uh, very difficult experience with this person. I feel like you moved away, but I feel like this this friend or this person, you have a pact that if this if this person ever gets out of jail or if this person ever, whatever it is, you somehow feel responsible, like you're gonna have to come back and deal with it, okay? This kind of reminds me of the movie It. I know obviously you're not dealing with some sort of, you know, literal supernatural clown monster, uh, but I will, or, or you know, the I guess the archetype of fear or something, but I do feel it's almost like something that happened in your childhood, you keep tabs on someone and maybe they're about to get out of jail or maybe they're on their maybe they're up for parole or maybe this person they are after maybe um laying low maybe they're about to be on their their old their old nonsense again okay but i feel like something happened here and your friend is filling you in because you may need to you may feel like you need to deal with the situation or show up or something okay we do have the old woman. We also have the gift of precious stones. So I feel like here, uh, this person though, for the most part, it looks like they've been, they've behaved or they've been maybe, again, I kind of get the feeling they've been locked up. I feel like you have a chance to 
maybe come back and testify or to speak at like their at some sort of hearing for this person or maybe some sort of parole hearing for this person i feel like you're i feel like you might be going to add your your two cents you know to get some sort of peace of mind out of the situation to block the the old woman in the sibylla is the two of two of um two of uh it's like a blocking energy, two of swords energy, sorry, uh, two of swords energy. So uh, I do feel like you're trying to block someone's release, okay, or block someone's moves. We have the, oh, we have the um, malady card or the sick bed. We also have despair or in this case, despair um, due to jealousy, okay. I feel like whatever is happening here, you are determined to make sure that this person spends their last days behind bars is what I'm getting. And honestly here, I feel like they may be sick, all right? This person may actually have some sort of terminal illness or something else. I feel like they might be, <laughs> I, I feel like they might be fighting for early release or they might be fighting to maybe like to end their own life or something. This just got like really freaking messy. Something in this situation just got very legally complicated. I feel like whatever it is this person wants though, even if it is kind of to, to end their own life, I feel like you're trying to fight it is what I'm getting here because you're like, no, I want you to spend the rest of your life behind bars and you don't get the easy way out because the people that you've hurt didn't get the easy way out, okay? Something like that, all right? Now, it does feel like, I, I understand someone did something really messed up to you, and I feel like it's not even because it's just they did it to you, they did it to your friend too, but I feel like there is a lack, total lack of empathy, total lack of sympathy here, okay? And while it's understandable, again, I know that this person did something really messed up to you. At the same time, when we start thinking about people with this sort of level of contempt, it's not necessarily, it's, it's not necessarily healthy for us. You know what I mean? And it can cause us to behave or it can cause us to behave in ways that maybe are unnecessarily callous, perhaps. And again, I'm not that's not blaming you. Nothing bad on you or no judgment, Aries. But I do feel like it, it's maybe bringing you to a place emotionally that I don't think you, you're going to want to stay or that you really want to be. So there's definitely some work to be done here in terms of shadow energies, in terms of uh the next step on this on this healing journey okay all right uh let's go ahead and move forward my friends what is at the last what's at the center of the last line of main messages for our aries friends for the end of this month and beyond all right this is getting a little crooked i think all right <laughs> All right, so we do have thoughts energy. So there's something that, something for you to consider for your consideration is what I'm getting. You might be asked, oop, you might be asked, I dropped a card. You might be asked to make some sort of decision or you're being asked to learn something. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. We do have hope, all right? So you might be really concerned that you're underprepared for this I, I'm gonna say it's like a, it's like an exam or a test or something. Maybe it's an entrance exam or it's some sort of knowledge test or whatever it is. But I feel like you're a lot more prepared than you think you are. Okay? We oh no, we have misfortune though. So I feel like maybe you're feeling nervous because you you might have already taken this test and bombed before. I'm gonna be real. This may have been the only thing you've ever failed at up until this point is what I'm getting. I feel like you might be nervous that you that you're not ready or that you, that it's going to happen again. I feel like you're afraid you're going to be embarrassed or something, but I don't feel like you need to you're putting too much stress on yourself and the stress is not going to help you prepare, okay? We do have loyalty energy. The question you have to ask yourself is, did you did you devote the time that you said you would to these studies, all right? Have you have you done followed the plan that you made for yourself? Have you shown up every day and done the reading and done the work and done the exercises that have been suggested? Did you listen to your tutors? Did you listen to, you know, whoever the teacher? Did you did you apply yourself? All right? And if 100% you can say yes, then it looks like even if it's not necessarily the glowing triumph that you were hoping for or that you're hoping for, you will get through this and you will 
you will pass, okay? And also this too shall pass. So even if you don't get the grade that you were hoping for, or you didn't, you don't get the rating that you were hoping for, I promise you, you will get an opportunity to improve your standing, to improve your station later. And for others, if that is not the case, I promise you, you will still find incredible opportunities uh, from now until until your until your silver days. Okay, we have uh, we have wedding energy, we have union. But if you have fulfilled the commitments that you made to yourself that you were going to do these assignments, you were going to do this reading, you were going to take all these steps. I feel like your steps were good. I feel like you don't really have anything to be this anxious about. I promise you, you're not going to fail this, okay? Now, if you did not fulfill the promises you made to yourself, you did not have a game plan, then if you have an opportunity not to take this test, I feel like it may be it may be in your best interest to postpone it, okay? All right, or to reschedule if possible. Let's go ahead and see what else we have here. We have servant energy or service energy. So, no, servant, okay? So I also feel like you have someone who has been helping you or working with you. If that is the case and you really took their took their lessons to heart this person that was concerned for you and trying to give you these resources i think you are also going to do well for others it was have you been a good friend to yourself have you displayed consistency all right we do have doctor energy and we also have we have haughtiness so yeah your ego is going to be restored or your pride is going to be restored you are going to pass i feel like someone is more than willing to tutor you or someone is willing to help you whether that means it's going to cost money or it's not going to cost money if you can afford that or not that's that's really up to you but i do feel like there this is just telling me there are resources at hand that will be in service to you but ultimately your greatest resource in passing this final exam or in getting this ranking is going to be how good of a friend are you to your own success is what I'm getting here. But for most of you, if you've done the work, it is you are going to pull through. It is going to pull through. Okay. All right. What do we have here? We have the messenger energy and I feel like you're going to get some sort of word of that. Uh, you, some of you might be waiting for the results. You're going to get the results soon uh, by the end of this month. Okay. All right, my friends, that's what I have for you. Don't forget to join me next Friday for the Astrological Weather Full Report for July. If you haven't watched your uh, main Zodiac reading, the focus reading for the month, please go ahead and dig into that. Or if you did watch it, maybe watch it again just to see what's coming towards you during this time. The later messages are really going to serve you now, okay? Until then, my friends. Oh, and don't forget to join me this Friday for the Cancerian live birthday reading if you are interested. Until then, gratitude to the divine, to you and all of creation.